Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we're gonna be doing something that I love doing whenever I'm traveling and it is exploring local supermarkets and looking at the fun things that they have that are so new and different to me and getting some things and trying them out later. So today, taking you guys along to a supermarket here in Chenggu, Bali. Now here in Chenggu, they have a lot of little supermarkets that have like snacks and like convenient things. So it would be like a 7-Eleven type of a thing. They actually even have 7-Elevens here. But today I'm taking you guys to one that is an actual supermarket where you can get all your groceries and things like that that is bigger so it's also good for you guys if you want to know where those are and what all the options are that they have we need some supplies anyway and if I get some fun stuff we'll try it out so let's get going just had some dinner look at the sunset I can't really see it anymore but now grocery store You know that Bintang is just Heineken? It's the same company, but I've never seen Heineken with this flavor, so it's actually Radler. It's very interesting. I've had that one before in the Netherlands, but never that one. these like Japanese lashes. You know what I noticed? They have actually a lot of Japanese stuff here as well. All right, you guys, let's go try out some of the things that we ended up getting. So a lot of this is super interesting and I've never had it before. Let's get started with something that looks really safe that I saw literally everywhere. These are called coconut roll semprong, Indonesian authentic snacks. And I got the chocolate flavor of it. Which I think this one is going to be really good. I hope that it's going to be kind of coconut because I love coconut flavor. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It does smell super coconutty. You can see them right here. This is what the little rolls look like. All right, let's try a bite. Oh my God, that is so good. It's not overpowering. It's just a really nice soft flavor. That is something that I've, in general, I notice a lot here is that all the flavoring of things is not overpowering where it goes like kind of gets gross but everything is really subtle and perfect and i love it all the food so far next thing i got is something that i noticed is a flavor of chips that they have a lot which is roasted corn flavor now that doesn't sound too outlandish but i've just never personally seen this flavor everywhere so all right this is called twist co it looks like this they're just kind of like little puffs they kind of remind me of like cheetos that's a bit different than I expected. It does have a distinct corn flavor. It's also a little bit sweet. That's something that I do notice a lot here is that sometimes you expect something to be just 100% salty, but it ends up being a little bit sweet as well. But really good. It does just kind of taste like corn. <laughs> Delicious. All right, next we got a drink. This is something that I saw a lot here and it is called Cap Panna Grass Jelly. Look at how cute. This bottle is, if you know me personally, you know that Hannah is actually my favorite animal. So it is a grass 
jelly flavored. What does that even mean? It probably has some little jellies in there. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get those out not having a straw, but I'm curious to see what the flavor is gonna be like. It doesn't really smell like anything. It's brown. I expected something kind of grass-like, I guess, but it doesn't really taste like that much at all. It's kind of a really weak flavor. It kind of reminds me of just some cold tea that has just not steeped that long. Just like a weak tea, sort of. Sort of reminds me a little bit of like a rooibos with honey. Nothing crazy, but also not that interesting, to be honest. I don't think I would buy this again if I want to get like a nice cool drink. All right, next is this coconut candy. Once again, coconut flavor because just love it. These are all individually wrapped and they're actually really tiny. And they kind of remind me of I don't know if you guys know these, but Werner's, they kind of look the same as this. Okay, <laughs> that is totally not what I expected at all. It doesn't really taste like coconut. It almost, my first instinct was that it's kind of salty, but it's not. I don't like this very much. I can't really make up the flavor out of it. It's just kind of sweet and that's it, I guess. Like, I'm not obsessed. All right, and the last thing that I have to show you guys is one of my favorite things ever and it is called mangosteena. This is not a snack, this is a fruit. Now I hope that I can open them still. This I was taught this when I was in Bali 10 years ago to put it in between your palms like this and then whoo, you just squeeze it. And as you can see, it just opens up beautifully and like that, this is what the inside looks like. So it has kind of like little parts Reminds me a little bit sometimes of like what an orange would look like on the inside and you can take them out. They're kind of slippery You can eat them and it is amazing It the closest thing I can compare it to would be lychee, but it's so sweet and tangy and like a Tiny bit sour. It is just amazing you guys Oh It's better than I remember You know how flavors you know that you liked it, but once you have it again, that's when you it really all like, the memories of it come just like rushing back. So that is everything that I got today. If you guys thought that this video was interesting, definitely let me know, because I'd love to do more exploring new foods with you guys in the future. Definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also subscribe to my vlog channel, my travel vlog channel, if you want to see all the things that we get up to here in daily life that's not just food related. And on Instagram, of course, because I'm posting a lot of cool reels on there that I'm putting a lot of effort into. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.